Thai TV Arts. Today we're at the Tate Modern looking at the Lich's Style exhibition. Lich's Style was a major pop artist in America during the 1960s. And his expression is just retrospective on his work. Lich's Style is very famous for his use of bright colours. Very influenced by the comic strip and advertisement at the time. His work is quite vibrant in terms of forms and shapes. Another kind of thing where people kind of, you might come into this room and say, oh, here's a moment where he's, you know, it's art about art, as if it's a kind of an episodic, but it, it's actually in his DNA um, as an artist, this idea that, that there is no difference between a black and white ad for a mirror, a uh, black and white ad for a new bathroom fixture, uh, or an art history book that's showing you, you know, the greatest uh, masterpieces of all time, because everything is being translated through the medium of reproduction, everything is being rendered in halftone dots, on a commercially printed page, everything is mass produced, everything takes something that was once unique and turns it into an infinite multiple. So, so a Mondrian is no different from Mickey Mouse. It's complete leveling. And that's the impact of his style, that it has this leveling impact. Many of Lich's style's compositions were influenced by other artists. And in this one, there's Matisse. A lot of his work was influenced by comic strip design and very contemporary advertisement. His use of simple colours highlighted this. A lot of religious design works looks a reflection. It's a key theme within a lot of his pieces. In the late 1990s, where Lichter Stein returns to the subject matter of the female nude. Very different to the conventional ways of doing the nude, he didn't use a light model. He'd look at comic strips and then undress the females mentally and then do the painting. The female nudes are quite ambiguous in terms of the outline and the use of polka dots, but you can still see his contemporary use of comic strip and media at the time. This was his own style of the female nude. Well, I think he was very aware that both Matisse and Picasso turned to the subject of nude at the end of their careers. I think this is a self-consciously late moment, you know, where he knows that he's aging, and, and I think he knows that, that great masters that have gone before him you know, chose the subject matter. And so I think there's something, um, you know, quite self-conscious. Uh, but these are all comic book sources that he would have collaged in the 1960s. And so these are, are, are kind of, uh, you know, women that would have been in, involved in various domestic tasks, but they would have been clothed. So he kind of went back to 60s comic sources and, and undressed them. So there's a kind of humor and perversity in that. One is he's you know, returning to a picture that's not here, but from 1961, a very famous picture of, of, the, of the girl with beach ball. Yeah. That's in the Museum of Modern Art in New York. And he is you know, reprising that theme. But he's also showing what a kind of extraordinary master of the, of the Bende Da he is now. Like, those dots are not doing their job. They're not creating light and shadow. They're not doing contour. They've gone viral, like they're completely ballistic, right? So they're, it's, it's a kind of out of control control. Yeah. And I also think it's about aging because... Uh, you know.